guys, Shadow here, and we are doing the Air Truck Simulator 2. This is going to be either on Saturday or Sundays. Where I'm going to do this, I'm just going to find a job, take it. So right now we're going from Cardiff to Plymouth. And... Uh, there we go. The trunks are on. Now the truck's on. And yeah, we're just basically going to go for... Oh, I took that way too soon. Uh, we're just going to go and I'm going to talk about something. So, today, what I'm going to talk about is the Nintendo Switch. Oh, come on, please go. So, the Nintendo Switch launched last week on March 3rd. Um... It's interesting. Uh, it's definitely a Nintendo console. It's gimmicky and interesting. I do not have one. I will not pre-order one. I don't know if I'm going to get one at all, to be honest. Uh, which side do I go to? Oh, right. I cross. Are you going to... Alright then. Anyways. I don't know. It, just for me, it's not something that I want to get. I'm not not quite what I'm into. Um, the only games that I can see myself being interested in is Zelda and Mario. Those would be the two only two games that I would get. But I don't I don't know. Oh, is it still in 40? They're not games that I'm going to rush out and get either. So I don't know if you guys are going to get one or not. I'm really interested in that. But, ooh, I have new mail. Probably about alone. Anyways, sorry guys, I keep getting distracted by this game. No, the big thing is... I'm not quite too sure about it. It's supposed to be a home console and everything. You put it in the dock, it comes up as 1080 on the computer, or on your uh, TV. And then, uh, yeah, you're supposed to play 1080 on the TV. Apparently some people say that the aliasing is not so great. And that would bother me. Um, I know it shouldn't, but it would. Now the other thing about the Switch also is that, like, it keeps saying that it's a console, but it keeps showing that it's going to be more of a handheld. I have a Nintendo DS. I absolutely love my DS. I wouldn't really actually switch my DS. So, to me, it's kind of pointless getting the Switch. Um, if that's going to be the case, I'd rather them f make a docking system or make two different versions of the game, one for the DS, one for an actual console. Um, that's just my opinion on it, though. Um, some people might have different opinions, and I want to hear those in the comments below. But another thing that bothers me is the uh, USB-C charging. They only included one charger, and that charger also plugs into the base. Now that's fine if you're always using the base and always having the switch in its base, or always charging it in the base because then you're always just using the base you plug it in forget about it the problem that I'm seeing and having is that every time that you want to go out you have to unplug that and after you unplug it then you got like you got to be reaching behind your TV or wherever your plug-in is to get at that plug-in to un and it's not a small charging brick too it's a pretty substantial like it's probably the same size as my my macbook so that that's a little bit that i'm thinking to nintendo going why didn't you guys include maybe a like it'd be a bigger power brick i get that because it's 15 volts and i think it was three amps so it's a pretty big um pretty big charger that you need but maybe they should have thought about that and included a second one or included 
you know, even a USB-C cable so that when you're on the run, you can just plug in your own. Um, but being so substantial in power, just having a little brick is just going to prolong the life of your uh, switch. It's not actually going to charge it unless you can find one that is 15 volts. Um, but that all said, it's, it is a cool idea having the console. Oh, I'm speeding. It is a cool idea having the console and a handheld, one that you could take with you whenever you want to go somewhere. That makes sense to me. Do I think Nintendo's delivering on their, what it is? I don't think so. I, th I think Nintendo's going to fall short of the mark to make it impressive. Uh, it's really cool. There's going to be a lot of people who get it. And I get that. And it's going to be a Nintendo system, just like people got the Wii U. I wasn't somebody who got the Wii U. But, yeah, I just think it's going to fall short of that outstanding outstanding idea outstanding product and unfortunately I feel like Nintendo's missed that outstanding mark for quite a while and it's too bad to see but this is getting back into being up there at the top uh, something about the games I uh, will talk about games and then we'll talk about storage but with the games yeah, like, Zelda is the biggest name game that's coming out when it releases. And then they've got 1-2-Switch. But I don't, I don't know, I feel like that should have been included with the console. Like, that should be just a party game included. I, it's $60. Well, for US, it's 60 Here in Canada, it's quite a bit more. It is 70 So... I don't, I don't think that game is worth a full AAA price. Just by the previews and seeing what all it's supposed to do and everything. I don't know. I just I just feel like it won't be worth the money. Sorry if you guys hear my keyboard tray. I'm just going to change so that I can see. Oh, cruise control. There you go. Yeah, we're at 80. Oh, it's at 97 though. Oops. So, yeah, that's just my feeling is that to, for me to think about it more, there'd have to be more games. Yes, Skyrim is coming, and that is actually impressive that Skyrim will be on there, but it sounds like it's going to be not even the special edition. It sounds like it's just going to be kind of their standard version with a little bit added to it. So it'll be interesting to see what actually comes out with that. And that will be in the fall, actually. Same with Super Mario. Super Mario is going to be holiday of 2017. That's quite a ways away. And at that time, Xbox is going to be announcing their Scorpio. So be interesting to see. Nintendo could have a pretty big, hey, look, we're going to be launching all these games. Meanwhile, Xbox is going, yeah, well, we've got Scorpio. We'll have to see how those two fare kind of idea, like how each of them does. But... I, th I think for people who absolutely love Nintendo games and have to get Nintendo games, it's going to be quite cool. Also, the other thing is people who don't have very large hands. Uh, it is a little small. Just looking at the measurements, knowing what I... Like, the Xbox controllers are almost... Or the 360 ones, at least, are almost a little too small. That's why I like the Xbox One controllers, is because, to me, it feels like the big right fit. However, the Nintendo Switch controllers are smaller, so we'll have to see. Um, hardware specs haven't really been said either. Some people have done teardowns and looked at them, and I don't know. I would have loved it had Nintendo released those, but they didn't, so that's what we got to work with. Um, oh, storage. Yeah, so barely any games coming out at first. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, I had to sneeze. There'll be a little... Um, cut on the volume there. That'll just be me sneezing. So, sorry about that. Anyways, as I was going to say, uh, not very many games coming out, which kind of disappoints me, but not as much as... 
the next portion I'm going to talk about, which is uh, storage. There's 32 gigabytes of storage built in. All right, I've that was my last iPhone was 32, and I filled it. I filled it up pretty, like it's an iPhone. So I, I mean, it wasn't the worst at filling up. I wasn't too happy, but as I got recording, because I do record some like uh, voiceovers and when I don't record with the game audio, I use my iPhone. Well, I kind of fill up space. So I moved up to 256 and it does a lot better. Still not perfect. And I know nothing will be perfect for something like that other than a computer and a big hard drive. But maybe Nintendo should have thought a little bit because Yes, I know, I did just... Whatever. Maybe they should have thought about it a little bit more because... Now people... Have to make the investment. If somebody wants a 200 and some gigabyte... S SD card... It's actually quite expensive to do that. So... I don't know, there seems to be a lot of cost... Introduced with this, with the Nintendo Switch. Like... There's going to be the Pro Controller for 80 bucks, a US, another USB-C char charger if you don't want to have to deal with going behind and finding your other one that's connected to your dock. That's going to be an extra $30. An extra set of Joy-Cons is another $80, as well as, and actually I think that's more, in, I can't remember if those were more Canada, or if those prices were kind of set, but anyways, a... Yeah, the Joy-Cons were supposed to be another $80, and then that charging controller, the one where you can plug the Joy-Cons into, and it will... Okay, I need to get past the semi. Uh... Oh, this speed limit did change anyways. Anyways... I mean... For s Thank you. Oh, that's gonna be it tight squeeze anyways as I was gonna say to me that charging one should have been standard oh I'm in the wrong lane I'm in Britain <laughs> oops I think I had a stop sign back there too oh well anyways <laughs> as I was saying I think that maybe that charging one should have been included when it comes to the controllers because if you're taking it mo mobile and I know that they didn't want it to be mobile but even sitting at my house sitting on the couch and actually actually that's where I see it being the most useful is that charging control that you can get or the pad switch pad I think they call it I can see that mostly being used when I'm sitting in my house have it connect to the TV I mean, either I'm going to get the Pro Controller or I'm get the, going to get the Charge one. Because I haven't really heard about what the charge time is on one of the Joy-Cons. But if I'm in a long gaming session, I don't really want to have to go and have to say, Oh, it's been four hours, my Joy-Cons are dead, I have to go plug it into the Switch and then use it in tablet. And at that point, the Switch may not be, like, could run out while I'm charging those. And... Like, I don't know. For me, it just doesn't seem right that we don't get the chargeable controller with the Switch. So, I'm not meaning to bash the Switch, but because there, there is a lot of good with the Switch, too. There's a lot of games. It's a lot better. It's using Intel technology, meaning it's not proprietary. It's You can use a lot more of... Or you can make games better for it. You can... Like, it, it's just that much better being an Intel chip instead of their own proprietary and I, don't know, I just think that they hit the mark on some of the marketing things like not including a the charging controller or the battery life I mean I don't know how you get a better battery life in something like that it's battery life is one of those things where it's kind of 
you do what you can, but you can't do it all. But one of the biggest things to me is just that there should have been more stuff included, like a second USB cable even, not even a charger, just a cable. To me, that would have been absolutely perfect, it would just be including a second cable. Um, same with the recharge. They should have put the recharge controller into it. Um, a screen protector would have been nice, but, I mean, they didn't... Oh, should I have come the other way? I was gonna say, I'm guessing this is... Yeah. Oh, this is a hard place to park, actually. Harder than you'd think. I park precisely. It's not that hard, either. But, yeah, I just think that they should have included that recharging one in the in the case. Um, I'm glad to see that there will be AAA titles coming to this. There will be just that kind of stuff, like different... more things that are on the bigger consoles or even computers I'm happy to see that especially with the Unreal Engine support it's gonna be super easy for people to develop games they could even do indie games um, one thing that I am another disappointed about is that it doesn't come with the virtual console at the start hopefully that gets fixed out really well and I'm interested to see how their online subscription service works which that's actually gonna be our next episode when I move into American Truck Simulator we're going to be looking at subscription services for games. Um, but anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this was just kind of me ranting about the uh, Switch while we took a drive. And I'm going to do another one about subscription services. Not a rant. This one I'm going to praise them because I like them. But subscribe for more of these every weekend, like Saturday and Sunday. These I'm hoping to have these up. And like the video if you liked it. Let me know what you want, to do, want me to do different for these in the comments. And... Uh, also, let me know if you're going to pre-order the Switch, or if you have, or if you already have one, as it is going to be out. And did you get uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and how is it? Anyways, guys, this has been Shutout, and I will see you guys in the next video.